morning ma'am yeah good morning can i get your resume yeah sure your name my name is shubham kumar okay shubham kumar how are you i'm fine ma'am yeah okay shubham can you introduce yourself yeah ma'am sure uh, my name is shubham kumar i'm from bihar and currently i have completed my graduation from molana madhuvar university which is located in bihar and uh, i secured 74% in my graduation and coming to my intermediate i secured 66% and in my in my 10th board i secured 73% and uh, computer science is only present so i have invested so many time to enhance my communication skill and uh, technical skill so i have technical skills uh, like programming c c++ java and uh, Uh, databases like SQL Server, and I also use this uh, programming skill to build up some several projects like uh, hotel management, library management, uh, and currently I am doing a project uh, on insurance policy. For that pol for that project, I come I selected Visual Basic .dot net for front end and uh, SQL Server for the back end. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, what are your technical skills, Shubham? Technical skills, skills is COBOL. Okay. DB2, okay. Vizam, and JCL. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between zero one and seventy seven level numbers? Zero one level number is uh, called also called the elementary and group level number. But seventy uh, seven is a pure elementary level number. In zero one level number, we can uh, declare subgroups. But in seventy seven level level number, we can't declare any subgroups. Okay. So what is sixty six level number and eighty eight level number? Sixty six level number also called as the rename. Remember, and uh, 88 level number used for the conditional names, and uh, 66 level number we can use picture clause, but in 88 level number we can't uh, use any picture clause. And 60 by using 66 level number we can uh, rename the group the variable and uh, rename the single and multiple variable. But using 88 level number we can use the existing memory of previous variable to the new variable. Okay, what are strings? Strings, string nothing but the, it, it's a group of character. It is a uh, always written in the under quote, and if and for the string handling there is a three delimiter. First one is the space, size, and a uh, user defined. Okay. What are data types? Data type. There are three type of data type in COBOL. First one is the numeric, alphabetic, and alphanumeric. Numeric for the representation is nine, and alphabetic representation is a, and alphanumeric representation is x. And for the maximum length of the numeric data type is eighteen byte. And uh, alphabetic and alphanumeric for the thirty-five thousand five hundred and thirty-five bytes. Okay. So, what is occurs? Occur. By using occur class, we can define an array, and in array we can uh, store the multiple data in a single variable. That data should be a homogeneous nature nature type. Okay. What is move? Moves. Move nothing but we can copy the one variable to another variable and assign the one value to. Given variable and copy one group variable to another variable, and it is a six type: simple move, relative move, group move, corresponding move, reference modification move, and qualifier move. Okay, can you explain any one from these moves? Yeah, okay, I can explain the reference modification move okay. by using reference modification move. We can copy particular character from the one variable to the another another variable based on position and length. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what is justification? Justification it shows the how the assigned value is entering in the given variable internally. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is division? Division. Division is a four type: identification division, involvement division, data division, and uh, procedure division. Identification division has several paragraphs like uh, program ID, author, installation, date written, date compiled, and security. And coming to the environment division, it is followed by identification division, and it has a two section: configuration section and input output section. In configuration section, we can describe the source computer, object computer, and special names. And input output input output section, we can declare the input output file. And coming to the data division, we can uh, write here structure of the COBOL and layout. And in data division, there are three sections. file section working store section and linkage section by using file section we can declare the file of the cobol program and in working working store section we can declare the variable and in linkage section we can also declare the variable but it is mainly used for the call and subroutines and coming to the procedure division we can write we can write here logic and statement can you uh, like explain me the structure of cobol yeah ma'am uh, structure of the cobol is division section paragraph Sentence, statement, verbs or clause, and character set. 
and in kabool there are total 52 character sets okay from these 52 can you uh, tell me any uh, like some examples uh, in some ex examples like uh, total alphabetics okay. all numerics value like 0 to 9 and uh, spaces and uh, some special characters okay so okay what is the difference between ps and pds PSA is known as the party physical sequential data set and PDS is known as the partitioned data set. Okay. And in single PS we can write only one program but coming with the PDS we can in, in single PDS we can write multiple of program and the PSA is the directory block value should be zero but the PDSA directory block value should be non-zero. Okay. Hey Shubha, uh, your technical skills are good. Okay. So I will discuss with my team and I will get back to you. Okay. okay thank you ma'am. Yeah okay.